Good Tuesday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, with just a bit of a frog in the throat. Apologies for that. Have to get some more coffee laden up here and ready to go for this morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We are live and direct on a very chilly morning, and if you think this is cold, well, stick around because we've got some forecast numbers that are really going to be making a dent in your commute as we get into next week. The first week of 2018 could be a very cold one for the Mid-South, and we're talking about maybe some single digit temperatures or even below zero for parts of the area. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you're just trying out that new computer, the new uh, smartphone, tablet, whatever you've got, welcome to the show. Please make certain you drop your comments and your locations into the comments section below. If you've never tuned in here before for one of our weather overtime video weather blogs, all you have to do is just tune in for all the information about what's going on with the forecast. That's in the blue bar right down there, scrolling along from side to side at that location. If that that's not enough for you. You've got plenty of weather information again here at wrag.com slash weather. Social media in the red bar there. Also, again, let me see, right there as well. There we go. Again, social media stuff to report at. Several different sites, and again, I'm trying to get as much as I can out of Snapchat, but I still haven't quite got that working just yet. Also, if you want to check out the seven-day forecast, that's available at wrag.com slash weather. It's in the lower left-hand corner of your screen down here. That's your left, my right, down this direction. And as of right now, looking at some fairly quiet conditions, but decently chilly for this morning. We'll talk more about the forecast into the last few days of the year. And as we ring in 2018, looks like we could get some Pretty chilly numbers coming our direction, and we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Welcome to everybody who's checking in, numerous people from around the Mid-South and points beyond. Thank you very much for sticking around, and also for, again, if there's something on here you'd like to see, we'll be featuring a lot of different things later on this week, including weather where the troops are. So if you have friends or loved ones, relatives stationed overseas, we'll try to take a look at some of the different locations where American troops are stationed in and around the world, so stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up a little bit later on this week, so stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, here's what it looks like in a nutshell for the rest of the day today. Again, temperatures into the rest of the day very much on the chilly side. Not much more above 40 degrees for most of lunchtime. Lower 40s, again, mainly I-40 and south. Metro area, north Mississippi, southeast Arkansas. That'll be the warmest location for today. But north of there, just a little bit more cloud cover may block out just a little bit more of the sunshine. So we may see some colder temperatures into and around, say, Dyersburg, Jonesboro, Arkansas, the Boot Heel, southeast Missouri, places like that. And we have another cold front on the way, actually a series of several of them is coming up into the next several days. So we'll talk more about that as well. Either way, heading out the door for holiday parties or things like that later on tonight, getting some shopping done, out for dinner and a movie, you are going to need to bundle up out there, especially if you're not going to be back until later on tonight into early tomorrow morning. Could be looking at some very chilly conditions out there. If you want to get nitpicky, yeah, this has nothing to do with the actual weather, but because we are so close to the New Madrid fault line, we kind of like to keep an update as to what's going on here. And so far, good news, nothing to report in the way of earthquakes in the last 24 hours. If you'd like to get this information where you are on your brand spanking new computer system, all you have to do is dial up the United States Geological Survey, earthquakes.usgs.gov, or Center for Earthquake Research and Information, CERI, from the University of Memphis at memphis.edu slash CERI. A couple of earthquakes early this weekend up into parts of Missouri, minor ones, but still, again, an active fault line. So if you felt anything like this or know anybody who felt anything like that, please make sure to drop by and check out the Did You Feel It reports from these various websites. You can help out studying earthquakes. You don't have to have a Ph.D., to do too much in the way of helping out. It, all it takes is just checking in and being someone who is able to note what happened, where, when, stuff like that. So a good opportunity for you to study stuff like that. Here's what it looks like out there right now. Golf carts lined up and out already on the course. So we already have a decent amount of golfers out for this morning. Groundskeeping crew as well in and around the area of Windyke Country Club along Winchester Road. Looking at the area of I-40 and Sycamore View, live view for right now. Also the 240-40 flyover around 
around and over Sam Cooper Boulevard. Traffic is light to moderate and moving along pretty well. A lot of people off work, a lot of travelers going through the area, a lot of heavy freight traffic as well going from place to place. So not doing too bad for traffic early on Tuesday morning, but there are going to be the occasional slowdowns where there are areas of construction as per usual. So again, that's going to be the main thing we see out there. Same thing from I-55 in South Haven. Inbound traffic's a lot heavier than outbound traffic. I-55 in Goodman Road in South Haven looking off toward Horn Lake from the Baptist DeSoto camera for this morning. And again, from around Oxford into the Ole Miss area, right at 32 degrees, bit of a breeze. So we do have a wind chill out there of about 20 cent travelers. So that's good news out there. So I is green at this point and looking at again delays of 15 minutes or less. Also good news across the continental United States, major and connecting airports. No delays showing up at this time. This information via the FAA. If you'd like to get this at your website, again all you have to do is drop by fly.faa.gov. Great opportunity to learn more about what's going on when it comes to travel. If you know somebody who's flying in here or you're going to be heading out pretty soon, this is a very good place to go to for information that will keep you informed as to what's going on with, again, the travel. Nothing's showing up in the way of precipitation. A lot of what you're looking at here into around the center part of the Mid-South, a lot of these are flocks of birds taking off and making their way down toward the Gulf of Mexico. So we do have, again, some... Uh, signatures showing up on this morning around the Kentucky Tennessee state line dropping down toward Nashville but little or any accumulation not reported at this time to the news channel 3 weather center so again I got possibility of seeing more problems there. Uh, Jeff Smith, apologies about the broadcast getting interrupted. Uh, some minor connection problems here. We're trying to work that out. Going to switch to uh, 210 cans and a long string later on if this doesn't work. Got some moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. It's not much right now, mainly down and along south of I-20, but some of this is going to lift its way up into northern Mississippi later on tonight. So we may see the potential of some snowflakes, rain mixed with snow, maybe some sleet, maybe some freezing rain, but much of what we're going to be looking for should probably at this point not be going too much farther north of a line from say Batesville to about Tupelo, Oxford. Most of that should be staying south of that line but early tomorrow morning you definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep update on Storm Tracker 3S radar and show you what else this is going to be doing. Not heavy, not looking at a major snowstorm like we saw just a couple of weeks ago but we may see again the potential for some of that getting a little closer to parts of the Mid-South area so that's something we'll be watching with a lot of interest. Heading out the door this morning, chilly to say the least, mid to upper 20s to lower 30s. Not really seeing much of a problem on the temperatures, but the winds out there are continuing to be rather breezy at about 10 miles per hour plus in Osceola at Arkansas at the high school. So 28 is the air temperature. Combine that with a wind speed of 10 miles per hour plus, and we are talking about some wind chills easily down into the teens this morning. So definitely want to keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything outdoors, especially if the kids are going to be outdoors. Remember that that smaller humans cannot generate the same type of body heat that adults do, or the same amount of body heat, I should say. So make certain that everybody's bundled up, especially with breezes like this, and continue to see some of those wind chills out there for this morning. Again, for the rest of the day, if you have any plans for outdoors, going to continue to see the potential for more areas of clouds mixed in with the sunshine more than anything else. Winds, the moving lines on screen out of the northeast today. More clouds back up around Dyersburg into around Middle Tennessee. Northeast Arkansas could be looking at more potential clouds out that direction. Now through the rest of the day, temperatures for highs are only going to make their way into the lower to mid 40s. That's it and that's all for the rest of the day today. Tonight, a new burst of cold air arrives through about News Channel 3 at 10. Decent amount of cold air coming in from the north and could be a little bit on the breezy side as we get into the rest of the day today and into tonight. Now the chances of anything involving precipitation are going to be relatively light where we are, but as we look down to our south and east, there is going to be that possibility of seeing maybe some rain mixed with snow across northern Mississippi, back into around northern parts of Alabama, and also back into around northern Georgia as we head out of tomorrow morning. 
around daybreak and getting into around the rest of the morning. So if you're heading from, say, anywhere between Atlanta and down toward around Shreveport, Alexandria, anything along that line right there on the northern edge of that moisture, that's where we could see the potential of maybe some problems uh, into and around the areas for tomorrow morning. But here in the Mid-South, it does not really look like we're going to be getting much in the way of precipitation coming on through. So we're not going to have that in the forecast for right now. Excuse me for a second. Okay, somebody's getting... Sorry about that. Occasionally we get some cranky conditions on there. I'm going to have to go manual on this so that we don't have the rest of the forecast flopping all over the place. Let's see what we got into the area for today. Much better. I have to remember to change the batteries in the remote every once in a while. Here's what it looks like for today. Again, lower 40s, about as good as it gets for temperatures. Usually at this time of the year, back into about the mid-50s or so, and that's about as good as it gets for temperatures for this area. Now, this is again going to be seeing about the warmest of the next several days, believe it or not. Heading into tomorrow, that cold burst of air moves on through mid-30s for highs with partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the rest of the day. Hopefully a good view of sunrise tomorrow morning because temperatures by tomorrow morning will be easily back in the lower 20s. Lower 20s again for Thursday morning with partly cloudy skies. Still not seeing anything directly for the News Channel 3 viewing area, but we'll keep you updated on that. Friday, we managed to make our way scraping very close to the lower 40s. That's about it. The last weekend of the year, Saturday, upper 30s to right around 40 degrees, but still not looking at a lot. Past sunset and into New Year's Eve day, we might look at the potential of maybe some snow showers taking place. Again, this is still several days out, so this will definitely change, but this is something we're going to have to watch very carefully. So New Year's Eve, high temperatures just below freezing, and the potential of maybe some snow showers taking place. Much colder, again, as the guitar drops on Beale Street, temperatures will be back into the mid to upper teens. So a very cold start to New Year's on 2018 as we go toward next Monday. Now, beyond that, another chunk of cold air, much stronger much larger coverage area is going to be racing down from almost right off of the North Pole. So we've got some very cold numbers heading our direction. How cold are we talking about? Next Monday, again, first day of the year, upper 20s. But then Tuesday morning, as the kids head back to school, some of them at least, and as you head back to work or school, wherever you may be going, early during the morning. So far, we're looking at some fairly cold numbers, and that right there is a very optimistic number that I plugged into the forecast. That's for the metro area. Most of this, again, the forecast for the central part of the Mid-South. Colder back to the north, so Dyersburg, back around the Boot Hill, northeast Arkansas, you could possibly see the potential of temperatures at or below zero by next Tuesday morning. Sunny, no question about that, but very dry and very cold with numbers back around 20 for a high temperature next Tuesday. Now again, granted, this is still about a week and a half away, so this may change, but notice we don't get out of the 20s. That's as warm as it gets as we go throughout the rest of next week. Maybe by next Friday, if no other cold fronts decide to come on through, we may be seeing temperatures coming close to, if not just over, right around freezing. But we've got a spate of very cold days to start off the first part of the year. So definitely looking at some very cold conditions out there, but little, if anything, in the way of precipitation. Very dry. Maybe some snow showers again for Saturday night into Sunday for New Year's Eve, and then clearing out for New Year's Day during the morning. But if you're heading outdoors for anything involving New Year's festivities, indoors is probably going to be your best bet this time around. Nothing in the way of major problems, at least just yet, but this deserves to be monitored. If you're traveling, have any parties outdoors, or know someone who is traveling, keep it tuned here, and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on out there, what's happening with the weather to make certain you stay safe across much of the area. Stay tuned for more as we go throughout the course of the rest of the forecast. We'll have more details I can get this thing to get up. It's working properly here. We'll have more coming up with Bob and Josh. They're still on vacation, but they will be back tomorrow starting at 8 a.m. on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio Sports Chat. But they do a lot of current events, news, and, of course, I'll handle the weather. So you can tune in for more coming up on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio for more details there. Got any questions, please let us know. And we'd be glad to feature a lot more of whatever it is you would like to see on here for weather purposes, climate reports, uh, anything 
in the way of weather where the troops are, anything that you'd like to see on here in the way of science and weather explanations, we can fit those in here depending on how much time we have. So please drop me a line again at austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to hear from you. Or you can contact me on any of these social media networks and be glad to have you along for the ride there. We'll have updates throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3 through Live at 9 and into News Channel 3 at noon. And, of course, Jim Jaggers will have more on your complete forecast. That'll be coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Stick around for a lot more online. Again, wreg.com slash weather. And stick around for more throughout the rest of the last week of 2017. Thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, on News Channel 3 online.